On three, one, two, and three. Mississippi Teacher Corps takes teachers who have the content knowledge, which is something we can't train. You, you can't train somebody to have the content to teach algebra one, to teach biology. So they go out and they recruit highly functioning uh, recruits. That we have teachers from Amherst, we've had them from Notre Dame, we have some in our district, who, one who graduated from Princeton. Um, just very good schools who have the content. And what we like to do is after Teacher Corps spends the summer training them with um, lesson planning and classroom management, we just provide the support that they need to be successful. Everything that I do have, I think I owe to that program. Uh, just, you know, the practical application you get on the front end. I think that's something that's lacking in a lot of other programs. You know, you start off not by learning what it, what it means to teach, you start off by teaching in difficult situations. And then outside of that, just the network it provides. You know, you're pulling in the greatest minds from all over the country. And you have all this youth, you have all this energy, and then you're all together. I think the thing that North Panola's done really well is they found a way to help new teachers coming in. Um, and we have a really strong system of, you know, we have four instructional coaches for all of the main subject areas. And so we spend a lot of time in their classrooms and help answer their questions whenever they need and just hopefully help to guide them to make their first year less or you know as least stressful as possible. When the state of Mississippi again they look at tested areas and when we say tested area we're talking about algebra one, biology one, US history and English two. Currently all of our areas are that are tested and graded by MDE are staffed by Mississippi Teacher Corps teachers. Even though it was, I did kind of struggle at first, um, I was really happy that I was able to develop the curriculum and develop my teaching skills to the point where I have been able to really reach the kids and help them be successful on this test which um, is very difficult, especially for kids who are low readers or who struggle with their English state test as well. In 2011, our graduation rate was under 60%. It was in the low 50s. Um, today, we are above 70% graduation rate. To be specific, we're 71.5% graduation rate. It was just difficult to make the kids not understand things, but to get them to want to understand things. Now, we have kids coming in here they want to understand, they want to learn. They're ready for you to tell them and show them and teach them. As we've grown and as our test scores have reflected the growth of the school, I think the kids recognize how important they are in helping the school become more successful overall. That's not just about what the teachers do, but they also have to bring themselves and incorporate themselves into their own learning environment. I know the staff here has been really anxious um, to finally hit that B mark and it's been a collaborative effort with the whole staff involved. Um, not only state tested area teachers but everybody on staff has really been involved in changing the culture and then now we have you know proof that everybody's been working hard for years now.